All right. First time visitors. If you're a first time visitor with us today, we need to get you a visitor's card. Come on, get your hands up, because I know I can see them. <laughs> we'll take you a minute. Don't fret. We won't, we won't get you a card, Dad. And the pens you keep, okay? I noticed a lot of times people put the pens back in the altar plate. Don't do that. that the pen's a gift, okay? So keep that pen. <coughs> All right, let me explain what you need to do. You take that card, you fill it out, and you put it back in the offering plate. And after service, you see this young lady right up here? Look at me, visitor. Did you see her? Meet her. She's got a special gift for you. Okay. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a movie buff. I love movies. And one of my all-time favorite movies is the one that was made by Walt Disney. It's called King of the Grizzlies. It's about an orphan bear that grows into a mighty, mighty bear, and he is king. One of the scenes in that movie is, is Walt, is his name, that's what they call him. He goes in and hibernates into a cave. Well, you know, he sleeps during the winter and he wakes up. It's always fascinated me about hibernation. What tells them to wake up? Why don't they just sleep on forever? What is it that says it's time for you to wake up? Back a long time ago, there was a baby born into this world. His name was Jesus. His main purpose in this life was come to save mankind. That mission cost him his life. He was buried in a, in a bar tomb. They sealed the tomb with a great rock. But on the third day, God said, it's time for you to wake up. He woke up and walked out of that tomb alive. He's alive today. <clears throat> Scripture says that we are dead in our trespasses and sins. But you know what? Don't have to be that way. Because my God is capable and my Savior, Jesus Christ, is alive and can say, to anyone that will receive him, it's time for you to wake up. Not be dead in your sin, but alive and well, and live life abundantly. If you're here today, you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, all you have to do is to receive him into your heart and life. That is our mission also that is for today to share that with each and every person that we come in contact with. Let's stand and pray.